Hello everyone and welcome to another video where today I'm going to show you how you can remove a stuck axe like this. Oh, and let's drive it in there a little bit more just to make sure it's really nice and stuck. And you're really not going to be able to just pull this out, wrench it out. Because, I mean, this handle is a decent amount of leverage, but unfortunately these aren't indestructible. And if you're really wrenching at this, trying to remove the axe head, there's a chance you might not break it today, but the wear and tear will start to compound and you might break it tomorrow. And that's never good. Also, there's one big safety reason I forgot to mention as to why you don't want to pull up on the handle to try and remove the axe head. It is going to take a lot of force to pull that axe head out of the wood. And once the axe head is free, all that force is going to turn into kinetic energy and you will not be able to control where that axe head goes once it does. In general, you never ever want to apply uncontrolled force to a bladed tool to try and make it do something. It's a recipe for disaster. So I'm gonna show you a trick for how to remove one of these stuck axes. And it uses the same mallet that you use to drive them in. What you're going to do is just gently push on this part of the handle. Could be a wooden handled axe, could be a plastic one like this. You're just trying to tap it to try and move this axe head. You're actually driving this part of it in a little bit further, but you're pulling this part out. Now it needs a little bit more. Now you'll see that it just gave a little bit. You actually push it a little bit more. And then once that's done, you can just remove it. Oh, that was really stuck in there. Works like a charm. You want to tap this reasonably lightly because you don't want to damage it too much. And you don't want to hit it down here. One, because these handles are usually very flexible, at least to some degree, you know, more flexible here than they are here. And you really want to work on this ax head, trying to move it and wrench it little by little up out of that uh, tough situation you put it into. And you want to tap it very gently when you do. You'll notice I'm not like really hitting it in the same way I would strike it to drive it into the wood because you don't want any extra wear and tear on the connection between the handle and the ax head because that's just gonna reduce the life of your tool. Wrenching axes out of wood tends to reduce the life of your tool no matter the method, especially if they're really stuck in there, but this minimizes the damage. If you get to this point where it's not gonna go down any further and you still can't wrench it up, what you're going to wanna do instead is just gently tap the head like this, try to angle it a little bit and lift up as you do. That should pry it out a little bit and then you can go right back to trying to wrench it out. And then once that's done, you can remove it. Also, Extra little tip, you should probably carve and then sand down the handle of whatever wooden mallet you're using because uh, prolonged use of this with this kind of bark on it will uh, take the skin off your hands. Alternatively, you could, you know, wear gloves. Although if it's reasonably hot and humid out and your hands get sweaty, they could cause blisters anyway. Anyway, I do hope you've learned something, enjoyed, and as always, I wish you the best. Till next time.